God, and we come to you in the name of Jesus, who is Lord, Christ our King. We thank you that in your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand pleasures forevermore. And we thank you for our country. We love you, Jesus, and we also love our country. And we thank you that you've raised up a man, Donald J. Trump, to be a warrior for the word of God and the wisdom that comes from God. Thank you for protecting him, for keeping yes. your hand of blessing upon him. And we pray, pray as you raise him up once again to be our president, that you would give him strength and wisdom and joy in the journey. Father God, right now, as I pray over President Trump, I thank you that you secure his life, his calling, his purpose, that no weapon formed against him will be able to prosper, and a thousand will fall at his side and 10,000 at his right hand, but it will not come nigh him. We secure his family, his children, his calling, and everything that pertains to what you have called him to carry out. And I ask for divine visitations, that you would continue to give him your wisdom, according to James 1, 5, that you would give him the mind of Christ, according to Philippians 2, 5, that you said in Psalm 33, that blessed is the nation whose Lord is God. And we just thank you for our fighter of faith and for freedom and for religion, God, and most of all, for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we give you all the praise and all the glory. Pastor Jensen and uh, Pastor Travis, Pastor Jensen, I know you'll close it out here and pray over him. Last night, you mentioned that the other team are vessels. But I want you to know, and we want you to know, we believe you're a vessel. Amen. You're a chosen vessel. That's a Bible Amen. verse in the book of Acts that said Paul was a chosen vessel. And we're praying for God's blessing on your life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine on you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May He lift up His countenance, His favor upon you and give you peace and blessing and bless this nation. Yes, and we pray it all in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we pray today, Father, as an apostle in this country, as, as a man of God in this country, I pray for the kingdom of God to come, for the will of God to come, and for you to establish your will upon his life. And Father, we anointed him today. We anointed him to be the next 47th president of the United States to restore the biblical values. Father, and I thank you today. You protected him. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. And he will go to the White House, Father, to represent you and to do your will in your assignment. I pray today that you will be done and we'll be celebrating that you have put him as the next president. We give you the praise for your protection and we pray for his family. We pray for every member of his family. You protected him, God, and to you be the glory. And today we can declare freely, Father, Freely, Jesus is Lord over his life. In Jesus' name, amen. Many people have told me that God spared my life for a reason. That's right. Jesus is king. And I don't think that we've seen... Many people have told me that God spared my life for a reason. And that reason was to save our country and to restore America to greatness. And now we are going to fulfill that mission together. We're going to fulfill that mission. The task before us will not be easy, but I will bring every ounce of energy, spirit, and fight that I have in my soul to the job that you've entrusted to me. This is a great job. There's no job like this. This is the most important job in the world. Just as I did in my first term, we had a great first term, a great, great first term. I will govern by a simple motto, promises made, promises kept. We're going to keep our promises.
Nothing will stop me from keeping my word to you, the people. We will make America safe, strong, prosperous, powerful, and free again. And I'm asking every citizen all across our land to join me in this noble and righteous endeavor. That's what it is. It's time to put the divisions of the past four years behind us. It's time to unite. And we're going to try. We're going to try. We have to try. And it's going to happen. Success will bring us together. I've seen that. I've seen that. I saw that in the first term when we became more and more successful. People started coming together. Success is going to bring us together. And we are going to start by all putting America first. We have to put our country first for at least a period of time. We have to fix it. Because together we can truly make America great again for all Americans. So I want to just tell you what a great honor this is. I want to thank you. I will not let you down. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, richer, safer, and stronger than it has ever been before. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you very much. That we can put our hope in you through Jesus yes, Lord. and have hope again. Our faith can be built up again. That you can return to us the joy that is only from you. However, today, Lord, we lift up the man that we believe you've put your hand upon. Donald D. Trump, the Latino American pastor of Chizalot, the Catatal Lady Labquitolino, Yetabalo. Donald Trump, the Latino American Chigar, we eat Madrigui Taukal. Bazi we eat Matanak Galley, ye Latino American pastoroch, Le Donald Trump, Lemesalay, Tiaga Garu Batuneta Nebere, Tiagachum, Be Donald Trump, take up by Nettin, Bemagina to Mikniat, ye Latin America pastorochi, Be Donald Trump, like a Jachon Chilo, Salleon, we shenut, a Latino American pastorochi bezalotacho, Donald Trump in a command in Yom Telatugia, get Isis Christus in the Tabico Emiligany Betal. Mr. Major Sham Demo, Yamaka, President Tai Mircha, Ashenaf in Duolum, Yamil, Isolot Agenda, Geni Betal. We anointed him to be the next 47th president yes. of the United States yes. to restore the biblical values. Yes. Father, and I thank you today. You protected him. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. And he will go to the White House, Father, to represent you and to do your will in your assignment. I pray today that you will be done and we'll be celebrating that you have put him as the next president. We give you the praise for your protection and we pray for his family. We pray for every member of his family. You protected him, God, and to you be the glory. And today we can declare freely, Father, freely, Jesus is Lord over his life. In Jesus' name, amen. Donald Trump, Arbasabatenu America President of the Emirates, American Talak in the other Gu, Talak American Bedigam in Digane by a Milime, Besoloti Resorts to Nebere, Yi Latin America Pastorochis a lot, Becatata Donald Trump in a Lady Lab Cutalino Yetabalo, a jig bet and bet and cara and netache and mitauku Yedabu America Pastoroch, Yesalate Saloti Becatata Sertuano Yetabalo, Bestamacher Shame Donald Trump in a Lady Lab Cutalino Yetabalo. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.